Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is my very first mysterious package from the Mysterious Package Company and inside here is the Crate of Cthulhu. Every mysterious package comes with goodies inside. Now I've seen people try to open these crates. These are very resistant to open. So I'm going to try my hand at trying to open up this box without cracking the sides of it or things like that. So we're gonna see what happens here. I've got here some useful tools. I've got a spackler. I have a mallet. Screwdrivers, yes. And all else fails, the hacksaw. Don't mess with the girl with the hacksaw. Mm-hmm, yeah. <laughs> Everything looks very authentic here. It looks like it's shipped from some foreign country with this very weathered looking label here. This looks like a realistic label from some place from South Kensington. And you get this letter in this blank envelope. And when you read the letter, it's a really spooky sounding letter. Like I'm into horror and stuff. And while I was reading this letter with very tiny print, I was like, I was even kind of getting spooked out by it. So it was a very well written letter. And so you get things like that in your package. You get things that make, um, make the whole experience seem more real. So that's pretty cool. So let's see how we can open this. Now, I've seen people try to jam flathead screwdrivers right, right into here. And there are parts where there's like nails, I think, that hold this thing open. But here's the thing. This is not the top of the crate. The top of the crate is actually right here. And we see nails right here. Here, 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 and here. And we see this label. So it'd be cool if we could open this without cracking the top lid. So let's see if we can do that. Let's see if we can actually jam a flathead screwdriver in anywhere here. And it looks like the answer is not very easily, but here is a little opening right here. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to jam it right there. I'll let, give you an idea at the very end how long it actually takes to open one of these, because they are supposed to be very resistant to opening, as I've said. So I'm going to carefully jam it in there. Yes, yes, here it goes. Here it goes. Look at this. I think I got one nail up, right? just like a little bit of a turn twisting kind of thing, and then we just run it along. And the, the wood is of the type where it can damage easily because it's supposed to be like weathered looking. So it's supposed to like last, um, this, this thing is like supposed to be like very old and it's been sitting somewhere for a long time, I guess. But I think the easier thing to do is to try to just jam this in there and open it up that way. Let's see, let's see if we can. Oh, it's very resistant, it is. Uh, looks like probably this method that I had initially was probably the better one. Let's see, let's see. Without hurting ourselves in the process. I think whoever designed these packages also takes great delight in potentially seeing videos of people attempting to open these without splintering the, this, um, the lids. Something here is a little harder to open up for some reason. So I'm going to try to go this way. There we go. I can see more of it. Give, right? Huh. I originally didn't want to use the hammer. I thought that the hammer was a silly idea. But it actually makes a little more sense now that I have two of the edges open right here. So I'll show you right here. Yes, it's open. It's mysterious. It's pretty cool. Let's see. Let's see what we can do about the other sides. I think they probably weathered one side a little bit more so that it'll be easier to lift up and the other side is a little harder and that's done on purpose just to frustrate people because then, then the lid would actually crack and <laughs> a lot of people are trying to get this open without cracking the lid. I'm sure there's a lawsuit in here somewhere. Somebody's going to complain that, oh, they got hurt trying to open this <laughs> lid and somebody's going to try to sue and then they'll make this, this whole opening process much easier for future people and that then it's not as fun, right? So <laughs> there we go. I popped open three, three sides of it without cracking this so far. Let's even get the fourth side. You would think that the final side's the easiest. But it's sometimes not the case. So here we go. There we go. Intact. Yay. Now. Why other people's lids cracked and mine did not? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this was put on more easily than, than the other ones. Maybe like the other ones were much more weathered on their crates. Who knows? But I got it open without damaging the, this crate, which is cool because I want to save this and I want to be able to put this whole lid back on this crate. 
So yeah, you purchase for two to three hundred dollars an experience. And here we see that this crate is by the Natural History Museum. Yay! And we're going to we're going to see about what's inside. So there's a ooh, there's the cardboard right there. Right. And there's something that's like kind of oily on here. So very realistic, whatever they've done. And then there's this rusted out box in here. Or is it just made to look like it's rusted? No, it is rusted out. Uh, it's very rusty. It's probably a health hazard of some sort. I'm, so, I'm sure it's, there's a lawsuit somewhere there too. Um, I'm a law student, by the way, at Penn Law, so <laughs> we always deal with these kinds of things. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sue you. Um, I, I'm pretty sure that when I signed away my life and purchased this product that somehow I'm allowing you guys to present this to me without getting sued. So here we go. So here we have, ooh, something that looks very weathered. There's like various articles and newspaper clippings in here. It's very realistic, guys. It looks like, it looks like they may have taken this whole rusted out box, put the clippings in there, and kind of submerged it in water, like yucky water for a while, and then it all, all gets rusted out and you get these realistic newspaper clipping type things like this. They look like they've been around for a while. Besides these clippings, and ooh, there's another thing underneath the clip, underneath the, um, this cloth thing. So in this cloth thing, here we go, I'm gonna, oh, ooh, nicely folded, is the stone bass relief, and it is, Mr. Cthulhu, yay. Nice, this is very nice. How did they make this, right? Is this like handmade or something? Yeah, it's gotta be handmade, right? So, <laughs> this is pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm into tchotchke and stuff like that. People call this tchotchke, but I don't, I think it's like better than tchotchke, it's expensive tchotchke. And so what's in the bottom here? Well, the Emma was making good progress despite the setback caused by the storm. So it's some, some diary thing same diary journal thing. And I wonder if somebody actually hand wrote all of these things and just, yeah, I don't know, maybe, and that's cool. And my hand's full of this like rusty stuff, whatever it is. I hope it's just paprika. <laughs> I don't think it is. You can kind of tell that like they're, they're going for ultra realism and stuff, but ultra realistic things, they wouldn't put like these cardboard things to, to basically protect the items inside the crate, right? So <laughs> look at that, whoa. It's a statue of Cthulhu, <laughs> right behind the statue. It's the horror in clay. So this is H.P. Lovecraft's Cthulhu story, typed up. Somebody typed it up. And in the back, it looks like there's some, there's a handwritten note by Algernon Blackwood. And it looks like it actually was handwritten. Pretty cool. And there's all this, all this soot all over it too, to make it look really realistic. And yeah, like, they're not coffee stains, but they look like some sort of stains from something, from the rusted out stuff. So yeah, this is all supposed to set the mood for your experience. So this particular experience is a narrative one, they call it, so it's a story-based experience. There's no riddles or puzzles to solve, but there are mysterious packages that include things just like this, but they ask you to solve a mystery. So that's pretty cool. So it's an expensive way about going about like an escape room experience type thing, but I feel that that the more realistic the better. Um, there are escape room experiences and puzzle experiences where they try to set the environment up, they try to set the mood up, but everything's based on paper, cardboard, things like that. But I feel that whenever you get something that you can physically touch like this, it just adds to the experience. It's pretty cool. So yeah, so this is the Mysterious Package Company. This is the Creative Cthulhu. They do still sell this at a discount. Uh, this goes for $135 uh, discounted, typically almost $200. And there's a shipping charge to the US or whatever country you're at. Um, so that's kind of, factor that in too. That's kind of expensive, but it's worth it when you get stuff like this. This is pretty cool. So this feels like it's like really heavy. It's, it's, it's really heavy, guys. It's like, <laughs> there's some heft to this. You can definitely hurt somebody by bashing somebody's head with this. Don't bash anybody's head with this, please. But <laughs> you can definitely hurt somebody with this, with this statue, yeah. So if you like this video, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel, you'll see more videos just like this one. Hopefully I'll be getting more mysterious packages someday. So until next time, everybody, see ya, bye.